Hey, Matt Johnson here with Climb Outdoors. In order, chasing some panfish. And in recent years, a lot of anglers are really gravitating towards using spoons to catch bluegills and crappies. Now, it's not a new concept. Anglers have been using spoons for panfish for a long time, but I'm gonna touch on small micro spoons for big bluegills and big crappies without bait. You know, where I spend a lot of time fishing, I'm targeting a lot of pressured fish. I'm in the epicenter of ice fishing in the Twin Cities area of Minnesota, and these fish see all kinds of lures, and I tend to lean towards these spoons. There you go, took that pinhead. Not an absolute giant, but still, if you're looking for table fare, that's the one you want. And there it is, that pinhead pro, right to the snout. Again, no bait, chasing crappies, being effective, running and gunning, and you're catching fish. There we go. See you, buddy. And new for this year is the Pinhead Pro. And you're probably gonna ask right away, what's the difference? Well, this, for starters, is a zinc alloy spoon. The Pinhead was all lead. Why zinc alloy? Zinc alloy, you can get more detail. You can see on that spoon, you can see the detail in that spoon. You can see gill plates, you can see scale patterns, you can see different gradients of color. It's also lighter than lead, so I can get away with a smaller offering. And now you're gonna see in my hand, probably can't tell on the camera, but this is a 1 32nd ounce spoon. In the past, you offered a 1 16th. We talked about micro spoons for big panfish. Now you got a 1 32nd ounce spoon. So how I fish this is pretty, pretty aggressive, to be honest. And a lot of anglers talk about finesse approaches. Uh, if you know me, you know that I always talk about go big or go home, right, and the way you fish. So exactly how do you fish these spoons? Because that's a common question. You know, we're not tipping these, like I said, with a minnow head or a maggot or a live minnow. So I am in point R the action. I am dictating what this lure does. So I drop it down, I feather it down. I'm in about 10 feet of water, and I work it down to the area I want it to fish. And I'm feathering it down. A lot of anglers want to bomb everything they use down to these fish. Just like your tungsten, I'm dropping this spoon down to the target zone. And when I get to the zone, I'm fairly erratic. And what I'm doing with this is I'm not pounding it. A lot of anglers want to pound whatever offering they're doing. I'm swimming this. When this spoon kicks up, it wants to kick out to the side. So as I work this spoon, you can see I'm just hopping it. And then I'm adding some shakes. So my sequence is relatively scattered. I'm lifting it up, I'm working, letting it fall back down. I'm giving it some shakes and some hops. And I'm working that, and I'm watching that rod tip. And I'm always keeping it moving. A lot of anglers want to just stop. I've never seen a prey in the wild just stop when a big crappie comes up to it. So I'm working that pretty aggressively, working the water column and keeping that thing quivering when I get a fish to show up on my screen. And then I'm watching that rod tip and when you get a bite, I'll just simulate it here for you, that rod tip stops. And you know you have a fish because I'm not using anything with live bait. So when I'm working that rod tip and that tip just goes bump, hook sets are free, set the hook, bring it home. Oh, there he is. Crop up Rooney on the pinhead. Right there, took it right to the dome. This is why the pinhead, and now the pinhead pro, has become the go-to for many anglers, including myself. This has become a part of my family. This is one of my go-to presentations for crappies, for bluegills, for pressured fish, for aggressive fish. It gives me the most efficiency, the most productivity to stay on the ice and chase these fish and bring them home. That's the micro spoon especially new for this year, the Pinhead Pro.